welcome back to <clears throat> The Witcher 3. I'm about to uh, talk to Eustace the Corpse Collector for Dandelion's storyline here. Yeah. You, Eustace the Corpse Collector? I? How'd you know? Fort Sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Oh, yeah, I remember. No ice, no what? One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, are you a tax collector? Piece off, mutant. I'd advise you not to anger me, or you'll get an inside tour of the crematory. Touch me, the guards will be hiding your ass for you can't free. To save a little shit like you? Doubt it. Those clever lads, more cleverer than you. They know you, this. No, they want me on their side. Cause you'll all die one day, and then I'll decide where your body winds up. A grave, the crematorium, or elsewhere. Is that all of the coin? Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Trifles, baubles, gloss beaded ring, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right in a slitter's knee. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happened to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Okay. Alright, what's closer? It looks like examining the place. So hopefully this will go quick. I mean, having three objectives kind of made me worry that this would be like a super long mission or something, but it doesn't seem too bad. Oh, nope, can't get through that way. Oh, oh. Okay. Where, oh, gotta go around the side completely. Oh, wait. No, I was supposed to go inside. Damn it! Not here. Not here. Geralt's got some parkour going. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw the plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss a burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's when it burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze. I found Fabian here beside him. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. 
you see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Don't know what we're up to. But even if I had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to skin their poor legs. They care about something to work. Does your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Vivian who threatened this one last. He was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed a purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Okay, so my uh, first instinct is that he gave the girl syphilis or something like that. Because he had it. Now, I'm not real clear on if uh, if she died before him. I, I didn't... Um... Oh, oh, what the hell is going on? Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Hmm. Okay. Where Phoebe and Leah when they found him. Murderer dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from one corpse. corpse the other repeatedly. The hell? Um, I'm not seeing anything else red here. Unless I'm supposed to read that note. All right. Inventory quest items. Inside the workshop. I've not even peeked inside since since I found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Push me, buddy. More blood stains, but not near enough to say who bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Okay. So that letter, if you read it, said something about a concerned citizen saying that you shouldn't mock the gods. So I'm wondering if maybe she did a play or something like that. Maybe it didn't have to do with the syphilis. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Yeah. They told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Oh, eh, don't shove me, buddy. All right. What does it want me to investigate over here? A brazier. This time of year. Come on. Why can't I? There, I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Sis, is that him? How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Ah, got you, please, ass. Fucking oh. come on. Touch him right now. Kill me. Yeah. The hell's up there, asses? 
What the hell is going on? Why are these guys pissed at me? Unless they're trying to rob me? Or they think I did it? Because I'm investigating? to the scene of their crimes. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome to Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Here I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? <laughs> nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, Dean's gone now. I'm back to work in Sweet Corner. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Hmm. Yeah, it's this mocking the gods thing. I wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the gods call them. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no family. Their bodies were burned long ago. Hmm. Okay. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Okay. So I already checked the formaldehyde. Alright. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Ooh, more concerned citizen bullshit. Okay. Uh, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause it. Right about now. Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back. Her assailant retreated and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something. Started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. All right. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. <laughs> oh, Gerald. Ah. Ominous. Okay, uh, when I come back, I'm going to talk to the coroner and continue this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.